So today I'm excited to show you guys the new Hockey V3 ground hide from Trago Panda. Maybe you can see already on the outside, it's quite, it's quite a small hide. It's the same size as the previous uh, Hockey versions. It weighs about 3 kilograms in the bag and it's quite a small one so it's easy to attach to a backpack or something like that. So I'll do that later on and we'll take it down to the local pond and try it out on some local, uh, some local bird life. Now that first I'm going to put it up here in the garden and I'll show you guys how to set it up and some of the new features that uh, the new hide has. And maybe you can see right away on the camouflage pattern here. It's a new camouflage pattern. So and it's quite a bit of a darker, darker kind of all season pattern on the camouflage. It blends in in different types of environments. Things we got here with the main height itself, strapped up on these. We got 10 pegs in a pouch. We got a couple of poles in here to help stabilize the hide and put up the awning in front. A couple of extra kind of mesh slits for the windows. Two of those. And here's an interchangeable window camouflage pattern so you can put your lens out here with an additional little window for uh, speed light or just to look out of. Uh, there's another mesh one of these that's actually attached to the hide, so it's on the inside, so I'll show you that then. And then we've got the roof, which will help waterproof the hide. So let me just show you guys how um, I put it up, and uh, as you've probably seen with a lot of the track hides, it's very easy to put up and very fast. got this rapid deployment which comes with most of the tribal pad hides very easy hold up the strap and pull it down and that's basically the main structure of the hide up then we'll just peg it down in the front first that's how I like to do it anyways and then put the two on in the back just to stretch it out So there's a pole in the back which you insert under the hood here, into the little hole here. Take one of the pegs and just stretch that out. Now how many of these pegs do you want to plug in? I mean you could this there are places to put more pegs in, depending on what kind of weather you're facing on that day. Very often, if, if it's a very calm day, I'll just use the ones in front and the back, and that might sometimes do, do plenty. But if it's a bit rough for weather, I'll use all of the different ones that I have. Next then, put on the roof. And you can tighten these up. Now for the additional poles that's in here. This one here, the camouflage thing on it. Take that off. That you can use here in the back. You can see it can slack a little bit here, so that gives it that extra structure and a bit more room on the inside. Extra pole here is for the front of the hide if you want to use the awning and that can be particularly good on rainy days and you just create this little kind of raised awning that you can shoot out of and protect your lens while you're while you're photographing. And then we go lift this up and there's again there's a place to thread this pole through here. And then on the hide here itself we've got some holes that you can put the sides into to stabilize it.
And then we get these little straps. And you can tighten these if you need to. Now, to get into the hide, see there's a zipper here and it's covered up with this here, so it really protects from water and things like that. Zip that all the way down here, and you can zip it all the way up here. And the reflective thing that you see of the surface coating on the inside, that's actually there for a reason, and that's to really help keeping the hide dark so that you can't see any, so you won't be seen inside by any animals by creating shadows or anything like that. It also creates a coating that helps for um, temperature difference. So if the sun is, if it's a hot sun blaring down, it'll this, kind of, this coating will keep the hide slightly cooler on the inside and on the other side and on the flip side in the winter it'll keep it more keep it more insulated so that it stays a little bit warmer on the inside or in those cold winter months. So let's have a look on the inside. So let's jump in here. So it's a fairly long hide um, but as you can see it's not very big I can't sit up it or anything like that it's made this way to be kind of flush with the ground and you don't really stick out in the environment so you're really quite well hidden at least and there's enough room in the back in the, the bottom here so you can pull I usually put a back backpack and I put my feet out to one side of it on, on either side of it we've got the mesh net on here now so you can put a lens through through here and we can unhook these with these little clips that's in the bottom here it comes off and that's how you can interchange like the other using the other um, the other windows you can see here now this also has I have the, the door itself on here now and I also have one of these slit windows here and I can interchange these with these little clips that are here and I can open up here if you want to now all the windows also have these little survey holes here so you can kind of strap them up so you can't see through them you can kind of cover them up like that or we can open them up and you can kind of look out them or you can even get a lens through here to shoot if you need to i've done that in the past with some snipe that showed up at the side of my hide and i photographed out the window so all these windows are interchangeable and they will also work with the other updated hides now so the Tragopan V6, the Grouse V Plus, the Mono V2, all these are interchangeable and they use the same clip system. And these clips here are very silent, so you can change the windows being very quiet on the inside here. 